okay, we've got a good game plan put together, looking at the previous two seasons. The red bite was really good at this spot that we're going to be going to, but before we actually get going, I need a new package of swim hooks. We ran out of those yesterday, so let's get that ready to go. Uh, I also want y'all to see this. I showed this during the last live stream. Floyd Mendoza, a local Houston artist, did this for me. I think it's really amazing, and it's the first piece of art that has ever been created for me. So I've got to hang it up right here in the office. If you all would like to send anything to the channel, my P.O. box is listed down below in the video description. If y'all have something like that, I would really love to show it off inside the office. And uh, that right there, let's see. Um, I think we're ready to go. So before we actually get out there on the water, if you enjoy watching my content and you really want to help to support the channel, the best way you can do that is by making sure you're subscribed if you're not already and sharing the video with your fishing and family, like your fishing and family, your fishing friends and family. That will definitely make sure that I get to stay on the water and I definitely would appreciate that type of support. Okay, now let's get out there. Oh, and it's a nice flounder. Oh. Gonna stake ourselves out. Come here, Mr. Ego. There it is. Didn't take long at all, so right away with a speckled trout, and then we follow it up with a flounder as we make our way into the marsh. I didn't catch these fish last season. Uh, it was redfish that I was going after, but now that I'm specifically targeting these fellas, it's just way too easy. It has a lot to do with the time of year as well. This guy's got a little bit of sea lice on him, but nevertheless, a really great specimen. You can see the fillets, that little center line. This is a good restaurant quality one right here. 15 and a half, somewhere around there. Let's get the measure board, see what we're working with. No, 15 inches, just, just shy of 15 and a quarter. Okay, so let's get our lure out of this fella's mouth and then we're gonna send this guy on his way. Let's get the forceps. There we go. All right, we'll see you later. No skunk, we got a keeper flounder. There's the thump. Oh, we just missed him. Let's see if we can get him to bite again. If not, we're gonna switch up the lure, give him something else to look at. There's a thump. Dang it, okay. He bit twice. Let's put this away. All right, Mr. Skelly, do you got what it takes before I actually throw him down there? Oh, you know what? We gotta swap that hook out. Ah, there's a fish down there and it's a flounder. But I need to swap this hook out because it just does not work that well. This is a three aught, and we got to put the other one on that we brought out here. Question that y'all always ask is, what size leader line am I using? It's 12 pound fluorocarbon. Okay, before we throw them out there again, oh man, I'm so sorry. 
I'm trying to get my act together, but we got to load this fella up with some proke here. All right. Now we're ready to go. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this fella to bite one last time. So he bit right around here. Just slowly swimming it, making sure that it's down there towards the bottom. <laughs> it was nowhere near the bottom. All right, here we go. I'm going to bounce it off the bottom now. All right, not too sure if the fish just completely moved or not. Okay, that's a few casts. Let's uh, follow it back up with the original lure that we were getting hit. Okay, let's see, can we we just got to coax this fella into seriously taking the lure. He's down there. It's going to be a small fella, I think, because he doesn't want to take the entire thing. I mean, it's the perfect size for one chomp. I don't think he's down there. And if he is, he's already learned. Quick learners live longer. There he is. He's got it. Got you. That's a speckled trout. I don't think that was the same fella. All right, let's put you in the ego. I don't want to lose him because I think this is a keeper. Here we go. Yeah, 15 and a half inches in the state of Texas. They've got to be 15 inches. Not bad, huh? Working our way towards a, a quick slam. That yellow mouth right there, trying to spit up that clickbait shrimp. All right, we'll see you later, buddy. Yeah, if you can match the hatch and you put the lure anywhere remotely close to these guys, they're gonna definitely hit it. There's a lot of shrimp out here right now. I'd say they're about two inches in size. And this is a little deep gut that it's like a drain. Y'all can see how fast the water is moving out of here. It's a combination of the tide moving plus the wind blowing out of the northeast and it's moving that water. That would explain why it took so long to actually hook them because speckled trout in my experience, when they hit, they hit fast and they just spit it right back out. I was over here thinking it was a darn flounder. It could have been trout the entire time. That's another mud chicken. Oh, this little red. Thought it was gonna be a flounder. This is a gorgeous looking fella. Look how big his tail is. Look at that. That is, that is photo worthy. Let's get this guy. Normally, I don't take too many photos of undersized fish, but this dude, he is gorgeous. All right. Let's put you back inside that water. Okay. There you go. I'd imagine a fish biting the lure like that reminiscent of going to the dentist. That's the only thing I can compare it to. <laughs> Somebody jacking with your mouth. I think we better retie. I feel a couple of nicks in there, so. Let's get our scissors and just start retying. We're getting hit, but that could just be explained by the fishing line brushing up against mullet. Yeah, seriously, he's got to be needlefish. One more cast. Got him. No, buddy, come over here. 
come around to this side, come back this way. Still haven't seen what we got. Oh gosh. Oh wait, that's that's probably our donkey right there. Yes, that is definitely our donkey. The clickbait shrimp. Come on, let's land them first before I start saying we gotta we gotta slam. Come on. Oh my gosh. There we go. It's gonna be super close. I think it definitely is gonna be a slam on the clickbait shrimp. The bugs fishing lures. Boy, do they produce. Yeah, he's he's definitely a donkey sized red. Really need you to chill out. Oh yeah, 20, like 21, somewhere around there. 20 and three quarters of an inch. We got the slam. <laughs> Super lucky today. Go. That clickbait shrimp just came through. I've been seeing a little bit of shrimp, not as much, but it's been out here and I knew there was going to have to be somebody back in there because I saw the disturbances. Okay, there we go. That right there. That will do it. We'll see you later, good fella. They're such hardy fish. I mean, they will give you a fight like no other. I'm just blessed to be able to come out here and spend the bulk of my days with peace and quiet in the marsh system. Absolutely love what I do. And I have each and every one of y'all to thank for it. So if I don't say it enough, here's another one. Thank you so much for allowing me to come out here and do what I do because y'all support the channel. I really appreciate y'all. Because I always forget as well, the setup that we're using today, it's a Arius from Old 18 Outfitters. Seven foot long, ultra light. We've got some 20 pound Veravas fishing line and a Luz custom light bait caster. So this is a typical bass setup. The fishing reel, there's nothing special about it with exception to how light it is, like 4.9 ounces, something like that. The fishing rod itself is three ounces, so very light setup. You can go after bass with it, but I use it as like a finesse because this is an ultralight rod. I love finesse fishing. I like throwing tiny little lures and presenting them without spooking the fish in this ultra shallow water and because we're using such small diameter braid this is 20 pound but it is super small diameter and i can zing these lures out there just like that bugs clickbait shrimp a lot of my gears listed in the description down below so if you're interested in something that i'm using just click on one of those links and it'll take you to where you can view them. y'all enjoyed that one if you did don't forget to click that thumbs up button right now i am at a dedicated subscribers house he happens to be a patron to the channel as well and i was completely surprised as soon as i walked up into the garage and this guy has got one heck of a setup bethel how's it going brother what's up guys this brother this is awesome that's all your rods right here mark look at that he has all got line up. all the prototype MDLR rods right there. And man, oh man, he's got some really nice ones. I see the hollow point right there. Yeah. So. The hollow point, all the uh, small little bugs. Yeah. Yeah. With the trails on them. So. And okay. check this out. This is the old autopilot that y'all saw me sporting on the channel earlier on. Bethel decided to buy that from me and uh, it's got a great home. 
Look at that, it's so clean in here. Brother, <laughs> this is really nice. Check out that tackle store. Y'all thought I had a tackle store inside my little office and uh, he's got quite the setup. So hope y'all enjoy this small little treat right here at the end of the video, getting to see all the stuff that he's put together and uh, I'm, I'm surprised. I, I, I like it, brother. Thanks to you, man. We, we got we got it all. We got a, a little bit of everything that we tried before. So, oh, there the we go. Yeah. The house, baby. We got to represent. Those are <laughs> my old. Um, what do you call it? The old vinyls that I used to sell. I still have a few of those left. But uh, all right, you know your bugs. Oh yeah, that you've been getting us into. There's the permatol, the flats bug. Yeah. That has been a steady killer. If y'all want to get on some flounder, that's one to definitely throw right now. But uh, okay, that is it. I drug this on far too long. Again, thank you so much for the love and support. Smash that thumbs up if you did enjoy today's content. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.